<laughs> me, 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 me. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, Devos? Hi! Oh my God! Great to see you! Girl April back with another video. So what's up, you guys? I hope you all are having like a really good day. On top of that, I hope you guys are safe. Got my I Love New York shirt on. Definitely had to represent for hometown. So you guys, this video is going to be like, like I say, y'all know I always say, save the best for last. And I'm really hoping that this is the best because from just an eye point of view, I feel like it look really, really decent. So I'm hoping that this is a save the best for last. Let's just get into this real quick. I think I did work with this company prior, probably like once or twice. The company is known, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right because y'all know I could really mess up a name, Sealy Hair. I think that's how you say it. If it's not, then oh well. Okay. Okay. But anyway, so they sent me a lace front and it's 24 inches and this is a virgin Brazilian kinky straight lace front. Girl, y'all already know how much I love kinky straight hair. I love this texture hair. It's very natural looking. I think like it just goes with anything, with any type of mood, you know what I mean? With any type of outfit. I think it's really easy and manageable. You don't really have to put any curls to it. You could just basically wear it straight. You could put some cornrows in it and it still look cute. Like I love kinky straight hair. And then after that is yakky. And then after that is just whatever. And I'm just gonna show you guys how your wig comes away. You'll know what to expect. When you receive your hair from Sealy Hair, you receive it in their standard packaging. Stop running now. Sealy Hair will also provide some amenities, which will be some strip eyelashes. The ones that I have here are their 3D faux mink eyelashes. I'm in love with you in every way. The joy you give me every day makes me forget that I was troubled. You'll also be receiving their black elastic band, which you can remove at your leisure. This band is great as it will fit your head properly and allow your wig to fit snug. Sealy Hair will also provide you with a satin bag to store your wig in, along with that, a stock card, which will give you their social media handles. You'll also receive a two-piece wig cap to protect your hair from the unit. The unit I received is a 24 inch 13 by 4 virgin Brazilian kinky straight lace front. The density of the unit is 150% but this also comes in a variety of densities along with that length. I know I can be safe with you. You want me now I know you do. I know you'll be impatient and I love you for that. You show me how to dance. You can do many different things with this type of hair texture. As you can tell from the ends, they have been cut and look very healthy as well. You will need to bleach the unit as the knots are not bleached. I did use a 30 developer along with that, the BW2 bleach, and allowed it to sit on the hair for about an hour. The lace that I have is the light brown lace. Also did tweeze the hairline just to give it a more natural appearance, but the hairline is a little thinned out. Make sure you check out Sealy Hair as they have many units that are available from full lace wigs, lace frontals, and bundle hair. I'm pretty sure you'll find something there that you'll like. I'm hoping that this really works out in my favor because this is like one of my huge pet peeves and it's the um it's 
the elastic bands that are sewn into the unit. A lot of times these are just sewn in the wrong place and they end up being like right here above your ear. I always have to remove them. It was easy to um, bleach, pre-plucked the hairline, styled it, I kept it straight. The hair is really soft. I think this is the 180% density. I could be wrong. The lace, you know, the lace is like this weird color. It, it just reminds me of like an olive brown. Like it looks like it's like an olive brown color. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna see how this worked out. I did cut the lace off the back of the nape and neck, but I also went ahead and cut the little flap portion in the back. You know a little piece that's like kind of like flapping in the wind. These things drive me crazy. I don't like when they're flapping. It's no way for you to pin them down. And I just feel like when you're trying to make a bun or an updo or a ponytail, it kind of restricts it. Rather just cut it off. There is a lot of lace in between where you can cut enough. But then I just made my own like 360, okay? Okay. This just makes it a lot easier to pull your hair up and you can also pull out a little bit of your own hair. I mean like look, we could just save this for like a little bang. I could just like pin it on right here. Oh, this be cute. Pretend like look. Just save it for like a little bang, tuck it up under there, and there you have it. Babe, look. I had cut the hair trap off. <laughs> just... <laughs> Could make it like a swoop or something. Look, I was like, oh, we're gonna save this. We're gonna make this like a bang, a little swoop to the side. So it was like an Instagram pose, like pretty sassy. pretty sassy, see? So you know, if you wanna cut off the little nape in the back, that little piece, a little flapping piece, girl, just save it. Cause you can do anything with this. You can make it into a bang, girl, be creative. Hello. Do not be throwing out no tracks. So now let's get into this tutorial real quick. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and put this wig on. I will say I'm very happy that I did not have to cut off the black elastic band. This actually did fit very good, it fit proper, but I wanted to tint the lace just a little bit, so I decided to take my aerosol can of even spray and just spray just a little bit on the lace. This product does dry very quickly. You don't have to worry about it staining your skin or your hair. And as you guys can tell, this wig is very full. I'm pretty sure it was 150% density. I'm not sure if it's anything more than that, but I'll definitely link everything down below. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this hair out. As you guys can tell, this is a lot of hair. I did hot comb it prior to this, and I did pre-bleach it and pluck the hairline. But it is a lot of hair. You can also put heat to this by using a curling wand or you can also flat iron it. As you guys can tell, I'm really happy about the unit. That's the reason why I'm singing and dancing like a fool. So get your scissors out and just make sure to make a couple of slits in your lace wig. This makes it a lot easier to cut as the lace won't be so tight against your hairline. Now I kind of do like a little snippet in my lace wig. You can use like an eyebrow trimmer if you choose to, but for me, I just find that using a small pair of curved scissors is a lot easier and will do the job just as well for me. The knots did lift really easy in this unit. I think I left it on for about an hour. I always use 30 volume developer. You can use 40, but you just have to keep an eye on that. I just prefer to use 30 because it makes me feel a lot more comfortable. I know that I won't over process it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take my rat tail cone and part directly above my ear as the unit was over flapping my ear. And once this happens, your wig will not lay flat. You can try to tuck it behind your ear, but it will not allow it to be a comfortable fit. So I just take the comb as you guys see here and I just part directly above my ear allowing some space for me to cut. And you wanna cut directly onto the part where you have placed on the unit. This will not destroy the wig, it will not ruin it or damage it in any way. It'll make it and allow it to fit a lot more proper. And then I'll just repeat that step on the opposite side. You can see all that excess lace, it really wouldn't have been a good fit had I not cut it. So make sure that your wig fits properly as these are stock wigs and each by each person's head circumference is different. So now just to allow my wig to appear a little bit more natural, I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna make a part across the entire frontal hairline. This can allow for baby hairs or wispy hairs, but it also is a good way to adhere your wig. And I'll show you that guys in a second. 
as you guys see, I decided I wasn't going to use the bed head. I'll just go back to my old trusty Glam Force by Got To Be, and I'm going to spray it underneath onto the lace. And then I'm also going to spray some in between where I place the part. You don't have to do both. You can either just spray in between the part or you can spray underneath. But if you really want a good secure hold, I would suggest you spray underneath and then spray in between the part. Take out your blow dryer and put it on a cool to medium heat and blow dry. If you don't have a blow dryer, I, I would suggest doing this in small sections by spraying just a little bit at a time and then allowing it to dry. I love this hairspray, it's really good. I do like the bed head as well. It is a little bit more pricier, but honestly, I will be honest to say, it gives like about a day longer hold, the bed head does, versus the got to be. But you can find both of these products on Amazon.com for a really good price. I'm just gonna continue to blow dry the hair or the wig onto my head, so that way it'll stick on. And now just to cut those wispy hairs and baby hairs, I'm just going to trim them down in more or less a slanted motion. I don't want them even as it's just baby hairs. I'm definitely not going to use them all, but I just figure I will just cut them all because each time you style your wig, it's a little bit different. So, you know, sometimes you may not get that same sculpting kind of going on there. So I just cut the whole entire hairline and I use them sparingly. I'm going to be using my Salon Selective Styling Mousse from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take my favorite toothbrush and just brush down those ends. Along with that, I will be sculpting some of the baby hairs into it. But I also decided to use some of my sexy hair paste onto the ends of my sideburns, which holds really well. You don't have to really spend a lot for styling mousse. Salon Selectives works really good. You can find this at any Dollar Tree. It's been around for years. And it's definitely not a Dollar Tree product, but it's a, it's a very old product. Now it's time to make this wig look cute. So girl, you already know what I'm gonna do from here. I'm gonna take out my brush and then I'm definitely gonna take out my hot comb because like I said, I did hot comb this off camera, but I think it needs a little bit more. So we're just gonna go ahead and hot comb this. And you wanna be very careful by your edges because hot combs can get pretty darn hot. So I really do like to do it off camera, like on a mannequin head, I prefer it much better. But you know, for the sake of the video, we're just gonna do it like this today and we're just gonna style it up. As you guys can see, this 24 inches is pretty long and it's very full. And being that it's kind of hot out here, I like to put it in a cornrow. That's the one thing I do like about kinky straight lace wigs. They look so nice in cornrows, you know, it looks so natural. So I really do prefer to put braids in them. You know, you could do many different things with this hair texture. You can curl it with a curling wand. The curls hold really good. You know, look at that, I'm saying. I'm saying, okay, that looks really cute. And I'm just gonna try it on the opposite side with two more braids, you know. Girls, you could just do many things. You could put this in a ponytail, a bun, you could wear it out, you could braid it up, you know. The styling options are endless with a kinky straight wig. That's just in my opinion. And especially if it's really hot, you know, you can definitely keep this on and just keep it out your face. 24 inches hunties and it's very full. I wanted to keep it in the cornrows, but I didn't like the way the hairline was looking. You know, I had to spray the tinting spray in it and all of that. So I didn't really care for the color of the lace too much. Ooh, is that shade? <laughs> but other than that, the hair is really nice. It's just a lot of hair. And the construction of the cap was a little bit off to me. Like we need to figure this out. Um, I might have to just be some more. And I didn't really like the color of the lace. How many times I'm gonna say that shit to y'all? That's what I was thinking. I didn't like the color of the lace. The hair is really soft, okay? Really soft. This, I mean, it's cute. You just gotta work around it. Like, there's certain things that I'm not like a huge big fan of. I don't know what the f to do. It's awkward. But for the most part, like, you will definitely have to bleach it and tint it and all that good stuff. Make sure you make it your own, okay? But this is a lot of hair. I'm definitely not sleeping with this wig on. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. I'm not. I'm definitely not. But the one thing that I think is cool, if you know how to style kinky hair or you know how to style anybody hair, okay, this is an optional wig. Like you can do like with this amount of hair and this texture, you can do so many different things. That's why I like like kinky hair. You know what? Kinky straight hair, kinky hair holds like a better style to me, like versus like the straight silky type of hair. Like you cannot really get a good, you can get a good corn braid, corn roll out of it. 
But when you have like the kinky or the yakky hair, it like holds, you know what I'm saying? It holds its style and stuff, you know what I mean? So that's why I like kinky hair. As for as shedding, I mean like some of it was shedding, nothing major. I will leave the information down below. I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with it. I love doing like the braids on the side because then I'll be feeling like it's really mine. Did that rhyme again? Here I go. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Stay safe out there in this world. I, like they keep wanting to call it the new normal, but I'm I, I I just cannot call it the new normal. I can't agree. This is not normal. That's what I was thinking. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and all the information will be down below for you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.